All right, I made a uh, slight change to the player movement system. All I did was just add some functionality to be able to do, use turbo. So it's kind of hard to tell, but right now I'm, I'm moving at the normal speed, but if I hold down turbo, I move a little bit faster. So let's go into the code and see what I did in order to enable that. So I added a variable for the turbo speed and all the turbo speed is doing is in the await function we're just doing turbo speed equals speed times 1.5 um, so we could adjust that if we wanted to uh, we could let's put it to 2 that way we can see it a little bit better now if we go back and it's definitely easier to see it now so no, no turbo turbo no turbo, turbo. And down here in the fixed update, um, remember we can only move, this was covered in a previous uh, player movement system, but uh, yeah, we can only move our player if, it's, if the team is user controlled and the player is user controlled. And we're saying if we are not pressing turbo right here, then RB velocity equals movement vector times speed. But if we are pressing turbo, the turbo axis, which is the right trigger, by the way, uh, is getting pressed, then the RB velocity equals movement vector times turbo speed rather than speed. Turbo speed times time, not delta time. And that is it. If you found this video useful, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe as that really does help me a lot with YouTube's algorithm. Thank you and duck bless.